because they both use the Vanilla Fox. And uh, it's pretty much the same thing back then. Now we have Juts, who plays a he does not play wolf in, he in, plays this in this game. For yeah, sure. that um, I know. Definitely known for his Incineroar in Smash Ultimate. Uh, really phenomenal. Was in the PR at one point with the character. However, has transitioned to this game. He's one of like the pioneers for Jersey, I would say. Has definitely put this game on the map. Oh yeah. Alongside people, players like a uh, Sensei, aka Bird Jet, and a few others as well, who've made this game what it is today. And, yeah. And kudos to them, first of all. But right now, it is going to be Chut having to go up against Anchor, who has been on a tear, known for his melee stuff, known for uh, I'm pretty sure P plus as well. At some point. I don't yes. know. But uh, I mean. I can see right there, has won a few brackets in HDR already, and looking to keep that momentum going here at the first regional that is known as Meteor. Thanks. Uh, brought to you by Fuzzy Pixels, of course. Of course, you already know the drill. Fuzzy Pixels, JT Frog, Solar Beam, all these wonderful people behind the scenes right here, and that ledge uh, hog is going to do it. And it's important to remember in this game that they did give Wolf some of his D-plus attributes. He can, in fact, waveland his lasers. Which is not something that any character in this game, can, uh, any character in this game, can say that they do. If, and in exchange for that, they are no longer transcendent. I believe, like you, it's not like a matter of they're just going to beat out anything you do. You can, uh, I don't know, you can power shield them easier to reflect them back. You can just sort of like keep the hit, shield the hit a lot better. And they're not as positive on shield, but as a result, beyond wolf wave bounces, they can also wave land back and do some pretty crazy stuff with that. On top of the fact that they have shine at the end of the day, which is of course, you know, just an amazing tool in and of itself. You know, you got. I believe it's still frame one invincible in this game, if I'm not mistaken. I genuinely don't know. I actually haven't played a wolf yet myself, so... Oh, actually, um, I have played a wolf, but they never really did that. The spaces in this game are, are definitely still a menace, and they can do a lot of damage. However, uh, Falcon, you, you will definitely get that uh, melee Falcon type 5 when you're going up against Falcon, if, or if you're even playing. This character moves just like him, uh, has really strong combo game. If you're holding in, you might as well just let go of your controller because you're just asking for it that second at that point. However, Jut, despite losing the first stock, has finally brought things back in his favor. Looking pretty poised, looking pretty clean. Uh, Wolf has a, a lot better recovery, and one thing to note for sure, definitely one of the better changes is, um, aside from uh, you can uh, move when, with the laser, uh, if you connect a Wolf Flash, you are able to act out of it as well. Yeah, that's definitely crucial as well, beyond you know even being, being able to air dodge and then do it, which would exponentially improve his wolf recovery regardless. But yep. that, I do believe, don't you have to manually activate the, uh, don't you have to manually activate the hitbox of it? Yeah. Yeah, that is crazy. Why would you do that? <laughs> that's so extra. My goodness, back air not going to kill off the top. Good uh, vectoring DI to the right this time around. It is important to note that DI also works very differently in this game. Horizontally, you're going to want to DI a little little perpendicular. If you just hold in, it's not going to work. You want to hold like up and in or down and in, depending on like how close you are to the vertical and horizontal blast zones. It works a little differently in this game, minus the fact that there is no balloon knockback as well, that it grows instead. And speaking of knockback growth, there's the back air. Going to be able to do it, and Judd looking clean, looking like it might be his game to lose this time around. Beautiful little stanky leg. Down tilt to be able to keep this uh, onslaught going, and this is Falcon, my friend. That's a fast faller. Yeah. You're going to be able to combo that to bits. Already 80% on this uh this Falcon right now. Yeah, despite the, strong, despite the strong hits, as you see right there, that up air into knee conversion, right there, going to steal the stock. Despite the strong hits that Falcon has in their arsenal to steal stocks and just a deplete you from this game, um, yeah, he's still susceptible to getting comboed very heavily, and you're seeing it firsthand. But however, just like uh, anything you can do, I can do better, says Falcon. As he is just Anchor has brought this back to practically an even game, trying to fish for another um, potential uh, knee right there, but uh, Jet responding back with a full flash. Ridiculous being able to activate the hitbox the way it did right there, and a lot of clean damage tacked up on the part of Jet right now. Uh, too high a percent to be able to convert off the shine truly right there. And the uppy, beat the uppy past the ledge, gonna actually be able to reset. Dash attack getting Charlie oh, yeah. Brown off the side, but it will Charlie Brown off the top mm -hmm. with the claw right there. That is game one going to Jut. Great. Now, this is exactly the kind of action that you want to see. Like, you're seeing two very high level players uh, ex uh, showcasing exactly what their characters are all about. And, I mean, th these are one of the two very best to do it right now. Jut. Looking real strong with Wolf and Anchor. I mean, showed a lot of 
what Falcon is capable of doing as well. However, just barely came came up short. I mean, it was literally a back game. That was anybody's game. Yeah. Beyond Falcon being, you know, the crazy neutral monster that he can be in this game, or the crazy advantage monster, I want to say, you know, being able to just down throw, wave land, uh, wave not land, wave land, not wave landing, wave dashing in to be able to get those tech chases in. As it is in Melee, if you remember in Melee, like, you know, Falcon wants to get those tech chases. If he wave dashes in, it's all about reacting at that point. Beyond that, Falcon's knee confirms are super free in this uh, in this game, especially in this build of the game. At certain percents, up throw knee is literally true. Oh, yeah. So no. once he gets that grab, it's just go time. Yeah, and like I said right there, I mean, once you convert a wolf flash, you can act out of it and just uh, opting for the air dodge just to make it back on stage safely will be Judd, who has already tacked on 152 on on Anchor. Um, Now, Anchor, we've... We know what he's capable of. I mean, we've seen him steal stocks. We've seen him steal wins. We've seen him win tournaments with Falcon. However, has no answers to this wolf right now, who from the other side of the stage used to up the the final hit of the get the stock. I mean, granted, 152, but man. <laughs> 152 cents. Oh, man. What a game. And what a timeline to be right now. Yeah. The Smash. However, that is going to be Judd getting a little bit too antsy trying to recover back at the ledge with a pretty exploitable recovery, which is Wolf's. Would have opted for a Wolf Flash in that case, but I guess we'll be better safe than sorry with the upbeat. Yeah, for sure. You don't want to be using that willy-nilly. You just got to know the confirms and just be able to capitalize off of them. And speaking of capitalizing off of... Speaking of just capitalizing, beautiful uh, edge guard right there and the fully charged Wolf down smash. Some, uh, some shit don't change. Yeah. No. Okay. Things are not, not everything can change it. The, I think that's the more it's... things change, the more they stay the same. I see what he was going for right there. He actually, I think, he either just messed up and decided to shorten right there and just didn't mean to do that, or he shortened on purpose because he saw that uh, Anchor was going for the soft hit up air knee confirm. Yeah. And wanted to just trade with it instead because he knew if he did the full one, he'd get hit. But I feel like as good as Judd is, I'm giving him a little too much benefit of the doubt there because I think that I think that Wolf Flash might have just been a misinput. I don't know if he meant to shorten it, but I could be wrong. And if I am, I apologize. Oh, Shine, not gonna oh, yeah. give a damn. Uh, I mean, me not gonna give a damn about that shine. In this game, every, any small mistakes is very crucial. It can really just cost you everything. However, Jut not losing any momentum whatsoever, just trying to maintain the lead. That strong hit of dash attack gonna put Anchor off stage. Gonna make it back to stage safely, however, but still. No. Okay. Up air, no. Try to go for another up air chain right there, but not gonna convert anything off it. I feel like he had the full flash ready, but he went at the opposite direction that he expected, and that is going to be. Final stock scenario for Anchor, and this, I don't know if this would be considered an upset. I mean, these two are just phenomenal, but really good players. Yeah. I guess are pretty even in terms of uh, the higher. Depth. As far as seeding goes, yeah. I do believe uh, Judd is likely higher. And there, no up oh air, but is able to get it anyway. Forces Judd into a Wolf Flash situation and was able to get back to the ledge in time to be able to hog it. Now we got ourselves a dead even game number two right here. My goodness, and I gotta say, I love the pressure that Judd is able to keep on Anchor right here. It's safe pressure with the uh, B Reverse Waveland lasers right there. And you're able to just fire it out instead of just being able to just eat that shield in the face if they see it coming. You can just Waveland back, keep that pressure going, nice and easy, my friend. Like a space animal is one to do. Oh and the God. weak back air confirming it to the strong back air, and then able to get a forward smash, still keeping him at disadvantage off of one weak back air confirmed oh right here. And that's gonna be not no, it, actually. Dude, I, my heart stopped for a second when I saw that potentially uh, Judd just finishing the game. However, uh, a little bit upset that he wasn't able to seal that stock. It's 165 on Falcon, but all it takes is one knee to seal the stock. Take the game, run away with it, bringing us to our first game three scenario right now. Woo, what a set. That's how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. You got a wolf player fighting up against a Falcon. That is Ouch. combo food at the end of the day, my friend. But at the same time, it's a spacey. It is. You get them off stage, they die. Oh man. Oh my Jesus goodness. Christ. Uh, it is for me, my friend. At Intunes and it's at it's Gabe OG. <laughs> it's Gabe OG. Yeah. We got game number three for you all right here. And you want to talk about, like, I mean, this obviously isn't a textbook melee matchup because Wolf is not in that game. But, I mean, he is a space animal, not only at heart, but also in practice, my friends. And we are rocking it right back to Correct Box. A relatively smaller stage that I feel like both these characters will be relatively good on. I feel like Wolf will be able to get some pretty good flash confirms based on the layout of the platforms here. But Falcon is going to be able to keep Wolf at disadvantage longer on a stage like this where the landings can become a little bit more linear, I suppose. And beyond that, I think the real reason 
is because with these blast zones and with the walls, I feel like me is going to be killing stupid early on a stage like this, especially against a character like Wolf who can yeah. be able to get fastball confirms out of it for sure. So it's just going to depend on which one of these two players wants it more as the hitbox is not activated and neutral is reset once again. Well, DSR is in full effect as well in this tournament. However, both these players, I guess, gentlemen, come back to the stage consistently. So, you know, it's just a respect of the stage. Pretty neutral stage for both these characters. Uh, do have that, uh, you know, do have that end of the stage at all where they can use their uh, their wall jump recovery to make it back to stage safely. Not been much of a factor so far, however, um, exactly what you expect. I'm surprised to go for back in there. Not needed though, up throw into the back air will seal the stock. And once again, Jut with a lead, but we've seen this already. Um, don't get too comfortable against uh, Balbi. Yeah, and you know, the walls also give you more space to tech, like if you get yeah. spiked. I mean, it's a very situational thing, but you know, it also helps. Oh, actually, right there, going for the hard knee on the shield. It's actually not safe on block in this game, apparently, as Judd is going to be able to get a big 37% punish off of that. But he's going to get that insurance on the stock. Oh, actually, not even losing the stock that time around. Never mind. But it's actually something I didn't know, my friend, is the knee is going to take the stock that time around. I didn't know that hard knee was not safe on block in this game. Oh, no. As it, as, I, as it shouldn't be, frankly. I mean, I understand why, but, you know, I just wanted to just wanted to understand. Oh, uh, boy. Falcon's arrows in general, like, just uh, you can just jab right off of it. So, I mean, the character has a lot of pretty safe options. You just got to, your spacing got to be on point, and you got to just make sure that your opponent's character doesn't have a friend of the or, you know, Yo, what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tag, now you're it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's so, like these two are on the playground right now. So, projectile got invalidated by its own. It's like when you're actually on the playground when you're a kid, right? But like, you're, you're, when you're a kid, you don't know that violence is wrong, and so you're just needing your friends and stuff like that before mom comes over. There she is. There's mom in the background. You see her? What the hell was your childhood like? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Please don't tell me that was your childhood. Uh, were, you, were you the one doing the knee? Or I, I plead. I plead the fifth. All right. I'll, I'll leave it to you. Oh, speaking of knees. Oh, I thought he was going to turn around for a knee right there out of that up throw, but I don't think Falcon would be able to do that with the way that his air drift works in this game. Uh, up throw into. Uh, Back him up there is pretty good in this game. I mean, it does set up for uh, seven spike situations. It does put you in a yeah. various ones. However, it's not like a full pitment like Ganondorf has, but no. it does work. Oh, and the recovery just gonna get stuffed out with the ledge hog right there. Anchor fighting for the near life. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how many Falcon mates uh, there are. Shield grab again off of the knee. Did you see that? That was the second time that happened, and it actually set up a jab lock situation. For Jut right there, attacking on as much insurance on the stock as we can. Yo, that was actually hype. That was actually hype. That was some cowboy-ish right there. Like, he just reflected the bullet back and then just shot the bullet out of the air with another bullet! Right. Not fast enough for bullet. I don't want to say it's a game right now, but you can definitely see and It's Jut. looking like it's not about to be right now. Oh, beautiful fade back on the part of Anchor right there. Let's see the punish he's going to be able to get off of this. Dropping the tech chase. Unfortunately, you can't, be, you can't be doing that as Falcon. I do love the option right there from Judd. First time he uses the, the laser and then tries to approach with Wolf Flash, hoping that, uh, you know, Anchor goes for another parry option and then just gets hit with Wolf Flash. However, that's not the case. Anchor is going to make it back uh, pretty safely right now. 168%. I mean, we've seen Anchor in these positions already. And, you know, like, Judd has to start taking the stocks. Like, he's letting Anchor live for a little too long. Oh, that was such good patience on the part of Anchor. He's not going to get the stock for it just yet, but as I say that, messes up the knee confirm again. He got all of that because he waited for the tech, uh, he waited for what the, whatever the tech option on the platform was to go for the second up air. So many young Falcon players, especially ones who haven't played melee, would have mashed there. They would have mashed up air there so hard, and as a result, unfortunately, he's going to be the one to falter first before he loses the stock. Jut one away from advancing to Wainer's Pool's quarters. But even then, like, Jut had to, at 192, finally couldn't see that stock, so... A uh, wolf, although it's a really phenomenal character, you can see that this character at specific percents already does struggle to kill. However, that strong combo game being shown at full effect right now as Jut just a few more hits away from potentially just taking this game and taking the set. There's a weak oh back God. air into the forward smash, and that one's the clip of the event for me so far. Wow. A weak back air into forward smash. Yo, that's a fatality in some games. If, like, they decided to go, like, a little edgy with this game, make it a little more like Mortal Kombat, that would have been violent as hell. That was Kano's fatality from MK9 right there, where he just punches the heart through the back. <laughs> that is exactly what happened right there. Wolf can kill off of strong back air for a character that already relatively struggles to kill, but off of the weak back air, not the strong one, he's got 